two stars, starting one. Alright, this is going to be the best we'll get because of that sim crash. <sighs> Unfortunate. And that's much better. To uh, reduce torque. Eighty-four percent. I don't know if there is on. Bleeds on min. After start check, uh, small power APU off. Uh, Main bus tie off, hydraulics check, condition levers max, radar standby, DS pressure check, house protection, test and set, rudder full travel, nozzle steering on, transport on alt, left and speeds, five set indicated, one, two, six, one, six, one, three, zero, two, seven, eight, and so on the right side. Signals and pins on the right Pencils and pins are received. Let me just check YouTube. Something is wrong here. Should be good now. Okay, Cleared ILS, runway 24 right approach. Control check. Pull up. Down, neutral. Full left. Oh. Full left. Full right. Yeah, damper on. The right side, the left side. Send via the Hollywood One rival. Information. Mike's current at Los Angeles. Oh. We will descend via the Hollywood One. We've got Mike in LA. Walk 1241. 1241 at CB. Cleared ILS for a 25 left approach. 
Seven Sea View or clear for the ILS 25 left approach, Walker 1241. So call pressure, low horizon 2196, information Mike, request taxi. Horizon 2196, so call approach, runway 25 right, taxi via Charlie 7 Bravo. 25 right via Charlie 7 and Bravo, uh, horizon 2196. Horizon 55, heavy wind 240 at 6, runway 24 right, good land. Taxi check, taxi lights on, brakes check, flight taxi, taxi, bleeds on, minimum. Oh, not stream ending soon, Jesus Christ. And... There you go. Okay, Charlie 7 and Bravo. Okay, there we go. So Bravo, clear right side, clear left side. Got it. Taxi check, taxi lights on, brakes check, flight taxi taxi bleeds on min, electrical panel. Uh, check, takeoff winding test, that's it, auto feather, set up right, power takeoff, reduce 84%. Flight control. instruments, check, flight control, check and preload, damper on. Uh, happy holidays, uh, Horizon 096, see ya. Happy holidays, Walker 1241. Yeah, Clarence is reviewed, Kevin uh, secure, text checks and feet. I'm closing, frequency change approved, have a good flight. Walker 1241, happy holidays. Thank you, sir, have a good night. Have a good night. Well, if we didn't have lag, we would have ATC going into there, but no. No, we just had to lag. We had to lag. And there we go, so we're a bit better now. Uh, the view is a bit laggy, but... Yeah, the same is pr running pretty Gucci right now. So the Gorman 7 means you have to vector yourself to Van Nuys. Or to Gorman. Oh, really? Now we're getting uh, those messages. Bro, we're like 22 though. You're kidding, right? Bruh. Yeah, this is really frustrating. But at least we're not stuttering. We're actually getting some of our FPS back. Whoop de doo. Well set. Los Angeles traffic advisory. Horizon twenty one ninety six holding short to two five right for the Gorman seven departure, Los Angeles. It's gonna be heading. Los Angeles traffic, uh, Horizon 496, taking off runway 25 right, westbound 3000 initially for the Gorman 7 departure, northbound Los Angeles. Light plume, gauge, swander. Cell and uh, heading mode. There we go. Line of check, empty collision, white, uh, crutch clear, runway clear. Lighting of taxi lights, line lights on, taxi lights off, pedostatic, 
On bleeds on men. Caution warning panel. Checked. FMA GA heading alt cell. Lineup check complete. Alright. Let's go. Passenger traffic milit, flight heavy, vacated runway 2 for right, and crossing runway 2 for left via Bravo Bravo, after Bravo Bravo, taxiing to gate 154, Bentley off. International Terminal via Echo Kilo. Have a good night. Have nuts. V1 rotate. Positive climb, you're up. Reduction altitude, dish climbs power, set. Speed. Ups up, speed checked. Ups up. Angeles traffic, horizon for 96, airborne 25 right, 2800, Columbia 5000 initially, and direct to the Gorman BOR northwest bound, last call, LA. Gorman BOR, <sighs> let's go to level 220, two, please. Oops. Something is so sensitive. The FPS got better once you got airborne. Thankfully. was off. Bleeds on and more. Check off check landing gear up. Flaps uh, zero bleeds on norm. Climb power set. Take off check is complete. Alright. We're doing well. I guess. We'll climb at 200. Crews at uh, 250. And see where this takes us. Alright, so let's uh, again, as promised, we need to self vector ourselves. So direct to Gorman. Enter. Uh, great now. Also, this one direct to Gorman. Enter.
Okay, so when do we get to Oakland's airspace? There we go. So when I'm out of focus, it lags. Like if I'm if I want to check something off uh, the screen, it's gonna lag. Unfortunate. Yeah, but we passed one zero thousand. Sorry about that. Lights off. Seatbelts off. Condition altitude, you gotta wait for that. So, what is our uh, cruising speed then? As for the flight briefing, we're looking at a uh, true airspeed of. Be to 323, so we might be 230 knots pretty much. All right, there we go. That was gonna crash. It's gonna be kind of a, quite a long flight, I just realized. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking, doing pretty good. Um, So let me just look at something from the navigraph charts. L now is going to be 1290. I'll set that now. So that we don't get overloaded later. Oh, what? No way. <laughs> The MDA is pretty far up. Like the MDA is 8380 plus 50, it's 8430. God, look at this. MDA is so far up. Okay, turn the I'm gonna set this one now. 8480. There we go. That's the MDA for later. Transition altitude push standard. Set cross check. Passing level 180. Now check. No difference. Yeah, checklists. The climb check altimeter is Kinshu 9R2. Set cross check. Has protection off. Pressurization. Uh, pressurization check, hydraulic fuel pumps, Norman off, auto feather off, climb check complete. Boy, there we 
just going up, up until level 220 and then we're golden. Tool. So past the uh, shafter is a VR called Tool. That's a good spot to know that we're crossing into open air space. We'll take the Arnav approach into uh, Mammoth. Thirty-two, really. Regardless, it's just going to be a flaps thirty-five landing. Is it three degrees at least? Yeah, it is. Condition lever, yeah, well, we're not in cruise yet, so. Right, the FPS is good. We just had a problem when we uh, tried and uh, restarted the sim because it crashed. Sky Medic, hello, Doc. What's up? Welcome to the stream, appreciate it. Welcome, welcome on board. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Sky Medic, uh, 1000 ago. So Sky Medic, of course, si Doc. Has been doing a few flights recently. I've been, uh, what is this? Over travel. I have been watching the streams as well. Very nice. Nag ATC din si Sky Medic. So, very interesting talaga. Kapag nag sit in ako. Guaranteed, I, uh, <laughs> I, I missed the opportunity to say hi. But, uh, rest assured, the, uh, the Sky Medic stream is in the background. Alright, here we go. We're like 22,000. Altstar guy, that was slow. Now we just got to Gorman. Alright, let's familiar ourselves to the FMC. Like, how far am I supposed to be? Or how long does it take? So, we'll see. Let's, let's take a look at the nav. Uh, take a look at the menu. So, I plan. Data, menu, flight plan, menu, so present position to waypoint. That's going to be, you know, the time, the distance, all of that. Menu, waypoint defined, no, not that. Let's go to like 250 knots. Actually, wait, 320, right? So I think he wants us to go to like 230. Make it 240. We'll go to 240. Yeah, that's our acceleration. That's uh, we're gonna be accelerating over there. All right, there we go. 240, so we're gonna give, give us about 60% on torque. All right, so while we're here, um, ground speed, we're looking at a target VS of 1,600. So TOD is about 30 miles, that's good. Approach plan. Hmm, I'm just required.
So I'm trying to find a way to see when I will be at a certain destination. Because these are this is all present position two only. We point to destination. There we go. So that means we will be over BIH at uh, not five minutes from now. Eight minutes. So about thirty-three minutes from now. But if we did present position to waypoint. Okay, it, it's more or less the same. So this is a good uh, way of uh, knowing our time prediction. So what fuel flow? No fuel predictions? Except for uh, overhead. Okay. You will menu. Oh, we haven't cross filled this yet. All right. Vina, ooh, why don't we get one thousand seven hundred? Looks, looks like Oakland is offline. Yes, they are. <laughs> that was a short lived Oakland Center. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Ouch. JWS5 Henry, hello, welcome to the stream. The second stream, well, no, the first flight, but the second stream because we had a sim crash. Uh, blue screen, I guess. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, what kind of weather do we have? Let's see here. All right, the weather looks pretty good. Not too bad. Oh my god. No problem is doing my second leg on my stream. Nice. Where are you headed? Where are you headed, sir? Uh, it looks like the weather is pretty clear going to our destination. Alright. That was like 12 minute taxi. That was a 12 minute taxi. Pretty long. Makdan to Puerto. Nice, nice. Mm. Gotta come back there soon. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Alright, let's see. We're about 12 minutes. <sighs> 12 minutes to preparing for a top of the sun. So we'll just chill here for a bit. And just like that. And then Puerto to Manila, nice. Wait, so this is your... Wait, is Puerto Manila your third leg or is that the second leg? That's, uh, that's a lot of flights. That's your third leg. Very nice. 
Flying is therapy. Flying is therapeutic. Yeah, does this work? Yeah, it works. Third leg, finally. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a lot of legs, bruh. Nice, nice. Oh, but you know, flying is flying, is flying, is flying. <laughs> Alright, now that my FPS has stabilized <laughs> into an acceptable... Well, we, uh, we're flying without any traffic. No events, unfortunately. So. We're going to leave things like this. We'll come back in about 10 minutes. And then get some, uh, get a water break going. All right, get some water. Oi, Luigi, hello, welcome. Uh, Teddy's destinations, Basco, Lioloacan, Sikogon. Actually, uh, first of all, welcome uh, back to the stream. I did do Loacan yesterday, pero hindi ko siya na uh, stream kasi nag-training fight lang. Sorry, nag-training fight lang ako. Tapos hindi ko alam kung matino yung scenery eh. Pero, yeah, one of these days, we'll go to Basco from Clark or uh, Baguio from Clark again. Oh, and Shargao as well. And Coron. <laughs> La lahat na.
Alright. Uh, let's see. If this didn't lag so much, but I don't blame them. It's a very nice piece of... Uh, uh, it's a very nice add-on. Right, so... We have to... D we ultimately have to self-vector ourselves. Okay, once passing over the tool view R, which is here, we'll go direct to... Um, to Wally. Direct to Wally, and then we'll... Uh, we'll shoot the RNAV approach into Mammoth. Yeah, direct Wally later and then shoot the RNAV to Mammoth. Pretty much. Mammoth! So the highest terrain is, uh, if I'm if I'm correct, if I'm not mistaken, it's like one three thousand seven hundred. Moi three forty eight. There we go. Medyo challenging siya hindi pad pero sa atin sa pag natitya. Sin nga eh. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get scenery or at least yung tal dito. Or those. Para ma-base ko yung mga landings on landmarks ba. Parang yung ginawa ko sa Baguio. I used three landmarks to uh, for the approach on Terrami 27. Yung east is uh, so diba coming from the southeast uh, cross mo yung Baguio center line uh, 09 the first one is east at 8000 sa mines mabandang mines and then parang north parang sa north part ng Baguio hindi ko malala eh kung anong tawag dyan basta parang siyang parang mga bulubundukin 7000 tapos pag west siguro 5000 by may golf course dun sa west side ng Baguio hindi eh. ko lang alam kung ano yan Yan mga landmarks ko, pero yan, pinapractice ko pa. Yung boss ko, wala pa akong alam sa ano, mga landmarks. Ang alam ko lang, straight in siya eh. <laughs> straight in ata yung ano eh, yung sa boss ko. Pero masaya siyang ilipad. <laughs> For me, I think masaya nga siyang ilipad actually. Okay, so from Tool, let's go to Wally. Um... Is there... Wait, is this Wally now or Wally later? Okay, hold on. Wally... Is... Okay, it doesn't say... Um, the bearing to Wally. So what we're gonna do... Uh, let's just eyeball it. We got Carl Sensor to the left. We have a 10 degree... 308. So, heading up 358 now. While we do that, we're gonna go direct to Wally. Alright. And then this one too. I'm not sure about the correct procedure for this one, but yeah. <laughs> and then from Wally, we'll do our top of descent, and then we'll uh, commence the R now. Hooray! But we need to be slow over wall as well. Okay, we need to prepare for the approach, but I do need to take a, a bathroom break. So stand by. See you in a bit.
right, so why don't we prepare for the arrival? Alright, so uh, we'll make it nav. LNAV, I'll maintain level 220, direct Wally for the RNAV Remy 207 and Mammoth. Uh, on the other one, 22 decimal 8, you have controls on columns. Let's do a PA first and then we'll get going. Alright, ladies and gentlemen from the Light Jacket crew speaking on behalf of the rest of the crew. Uh, in about uh, 10 minutes from now, we'll be starting our descent into the Mammoth uh, area for an on time arrival about 20 minutes from now. Weather information in Mammoth. Uh, let's see here. Looking pretty good. Um, the skies are clear. Temperatures in about the 28s. There's a slight breeze coming from the south. Good visibility coming from the east, lining west. Again, we'd like to thank you for choosing Alaska and uh, Alaska Horizon as your airline of choice heading into Mammoth Yosemite, even though other options. The choice was yours, but a pleasure definitely ours. Weather transiting through a final destination is Yosemite uh, Mammoth. We wish you a safe and pleasant journey all the same. For more information on the arrival, including badge claim info and connecting flights, gate agents on the ground will be happy to assist. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the flight. And again, let's take you down safely and smoothly into uh, Yosemite. Again, remember to keep your seatbelts on even if the signs are rough for your safety and the safety of others, even though we're expecting a smooth ride all the way down to uh, uh, the airport. Once again, we hope to see you again on another Alaska Horizon flight, but until then, we'll see ya. Cam crew for the camp around, please. Okay. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, plan for this approach. So, flight plan. We're looking at uh, Wally, number two seven. To Bishop, Jasat, Fabat, and looks like it is. Uh, Just thought to buy. The LNAV has already been set. 8,480. And from there, um, there's an offset. So the runway heading is 274, but the final approach course is 259. So that's about a 15 degree offset from the final approach course. That's from Fabat to runway 27. Okay. So we're just verifying the approach. Uh, we're also looking here at, uh, let's see, flight plan, menu. Approach plan. We're going to have T7. Just required. Final approach fix for bot. Leg to end of, I don't want EUA, end of arrival. So just thought for bot. I'm going to have T7. EOA. Turn on the uh, terrain now. On the north side. Wow, look at this. Look at the view. It's amazing. Alright, let's go. So let's go ahead and do a briefing. First of all, the weather. Um, right now in Yosemite, winds are 1704, 10 mile visibility, temperature minus 2. And Kinshi 3020 from the east, landing. Uh, coming from the east lining west so for here um, our, our plan is to do the RNAV GPS Army 27 12 dash 1 6 August 21 same chart same charts frequencies is published RNAV final approach course 259 for bat 9100 MDA 8380 plus 50 on our side uh, MSA Army 27 15500 oh and uh, we need to put the airport elevation uh, set also 
Stand by, guys. Stand by. The cabin altitude is almost the same already, so. Whoop. Let's see, lights are on, don't they? Alright. Alright, so briefing again. Um, no, 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 no. Don't, don't use Navigraph charts, just use Volanta. Okay, so Wally, 12000 Bishop, then 1000 to just out the initial fix. Course 247 to Feebot 9100, follow the 2.99 degree of the glide slope or descent angle down to minimums of uh, 8,380. If you don't have the airport environment site or runway environment, which includes the runway and, uh, runway and uh, indicator lights or PAPI on the uh, left side, missed approach is climbing right turn to 13,000. Uh, 1 3000 direct tap review, track 044 to Ever, and then track 322 to Nickel and Hold. And uh, do we have anything for extra fuel, by the way? Yeah, there's doesn't say anything about excess fuel here. Alright, so pilot flying briefing, we'll be doing a standard approach profile uh, due to the high elevation air, uh, nature of this airport. We are expected to be going really, really fast. So by feedback, we should be fully stabilized at flaps 35 and V ref plus 10. That's going to be 127. And uh, chart 10-9, the Pappy, three degrees uh, left side. With the max reversers, flaps 35, we can attempt to vacate Alpha 4. If not, we can use their whole runner for Alpha 5. Threats, uncontrolled airport. We'll turn on our logo and uh, wing light as well. Maintain a listening watch on Unicom. And make sure to announce your intentions uh, fairly on frequency as well. Uh, what else? Not much. Single pilot operations configure early as required. Okay, that's it. That's our arrival briefing. A nice, uh, nice view. Here we go, my control. So LNAV, Alt, uh, level two two zero, and uh, direct to Wally, thirty uh, twenty nine miles from now. I think I want you to decimate my control zero comms. We have a descent checklist. Okay, GPWS landing flap, uh, 35 set pressurization. Uh, set briefing and bugs. Reviewed and set descent checklist complete.
So just that is going to be the uh, initial altitude. And Vina. Let's select R and Vina Gorn. Top of the center alert, Roger. We do need to slow down uh, a bit. Also, let's modify our uh, uh, 10,000 foot flow, make it 17,000. Obviously. And the QNH is uh, 3019. Uh, this is the Blythe. Uh, wait, is this called Blythe? Bishop. Bishop, you are. Blythe. I can't believe we're, we're uh, descending as fast as a jet to the 1-0000. Press and transition level, put this in terms these are right now. It's so high, yeah. Three zero nine. Three zero nine one nineteen. Goes zero one intercept cross check passing one seven thousand seven hundred now. Check no difference. Let's cross just out of 220. We need to be strictly configured to Feebot. Nine miles, that's fine, I guess, for 220 or something. Hey, what's this again? Mammoth Yosemite Traffic Advisory. Hey. Horizon 2196, about 15 miles southeast. 
one six thousand descending uh, where we are now GPS from rate two seven from the bishop is published we have a Yosemite. And one zero thousand, let's just lenny lights on. Seat belts on. Motorfighter. Motorfighter is on. Cross check those cell terminus QNH301 intercept. Cross check fuel transfer off. Hydraulic fuel pumps on. Hydraulics check. Passenger signs on. Cabin uh, secure. Cross check is complete. The airport should be somewhere over there. Landing. Where's the green? Where's the yellow one? No, I have the airport set. So it's going to be a 15 mile final over 27. Yeah, just make it 220. Don't need to go any faster. Getting good FPS as well. Okay, 9,100. Range 10 on my side. Mammoth Yosemite traffic, Horizon 2096, turning final, runway 27, full stop, 15 miles now. Mammoth Yosemite. Alright. Make, uh, start heading 274 now. I see the runway. I see. Let's stabilize ourselves now. This arm also. 2500. Check. Flaps 5 is rechecked. Flaps 5. Gear down. So that's on.
Flaps 10, speed checked. Flaps 10. Flaps 15, speed checked. Flaps 15. Flaps 35, speed check. Flaps 35. Landing checklist, ice protection, off, landing gear down, three green, condition lever max, flaps, 35 set indicated, GPWS, bleeds minimum, off, landing check is complete. It's behind that uh, bluff over there, or whatever you call it. Anyway, disconnecting autopilot, landing flight. Fortunately, battery lights are not there. Okay, GS uh, maintain 700, minimums continue, visual landing. Now, 127, that's good. Three reds, one white. Pull it back to 700. Check. Terrain. Disregard. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go all the way to the end. Got him. Memphis Assembly Travel Advisory, uh, Horizon 096, vacating, uh, rolling out to the end, runway 27, then vacating, then taxiing to ramp. Got him. Side right side. One point thirty eight G's. I'll take that. 
We did float just... Oh, we didn't float too much. Nice. Alright, there we go. So, let's do this first. Pops up. APU power on. APU start. After letting check control lock on, anti collision, red, flaps uh, zero, radar standby, flight taxi, taxi, S protection off, main bus tie, tie, yaw damper off, hydraulics check after letting check is complete. I didn't put a SAM there? Okay. We'll just uh, manually do it then. The taxi lights off. Okay, truck, go past me. I can break on. Oh, yeah, it's off now. Prop levers, start and feather. Nozzle steering off. Leads off, man. Condition levers, fuel off. Chem crew, doors to arrival and cross check. Start unloading, but uh, we'll do it fast because we need to do a replay. Uh, we forgot anything? Yeah, the sounds are off. Whoop. Here you go, start unloading. Okay, shut down, check, brake on, hydraulic fuel pumps, normal, power condition levers, disc idle and fuel off, nozzle steering off, radar off, transponder standby. Bleeds minimal off, external power APU, APU on, condition levers, 30 seconds, fuel off, passenger signs off, lights, position lights on, battery master on, shut down, check is complete. Well, guys, I think we had a good landing of 1.38 g's that is uh good enough for me i don't know about you guys but we did well we didn't crash the plane and that's what matters even though we had a lot of lag okay hold on 1.38 g's uh, hold 
long, guys. That's a horizon. Yeah, okay, so it just says 1.30 uh, Gs. Alright, so, um, that's the uh, landing. We did float it just a bit, just to arrest the descent. <laughs> uh, fast unload. So, what does the queue say about uh, passengers transported? We've transported 936 passengers and other airframes. 12 flights so far. Again, this, yeah, I've done a lot of flights already. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, yeah, 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 we're, we're good, we're good. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that sim. And uh, let's get the replays going. Okay, replay. Yeah, we, we floated just a bit, and then we settled down. Not bad. Nice. This terrain on the, uh, on the airport is real, apparently. Apparently it's real. Yeah, I actually did well. Not bad. Oh, okay, the, uh, I see. There was a kind of a uh, terrain down there. Wow, he did well. Yeah, we did well. It was a float, which I really hate and uh, try to avoid, but you know, whatever. Yeah. So it went up and then it went down. Yeah, I can see it went up and then it went down. Unfortunate. We did well. I think that was a good, uh, good performance from us. Guys, thanks for stopping by the stream again. Skyblue yeah. Drew. We'll be streaming more of these flights, hopefully. 
in the near future. Scout here, okay, Drew. Have a great uh, night. Day wherever you guys are in the world. Thanks for watching this replay. Stay, stay, stay safe, stay healthy, peace, and see ya. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten.